Hello everyone. I want to read you a verse of scripture out of the Passion Translation to begin today. And this is found in 2 Timothy chapter 2. And it's a familiar scripture to us, most certainly probably in the King James Version, where the Apostle Paul is telling Timothy to endure hardness as a good soldier, and how he, as a good soldier, would not entangle himself with the affairs of of this life. But listen to this in the Passion Translation. He says, For every soldier called to active duty must divorce himself from the distractions of this world so that he may fully satisfy the one who chose him. I want to talk to you about a singleness of focus, a focus that is in proper alignment with the Spirit of God. We understand that in these last days, in the days in which we are living, God is drawing the hearts of men to Him. And we as laborers must be aware of what is happening and be working with a singleness of purpose that we might then gather the harvest that God desires to see in these last days. Jesus makes a statement in talking to his disciples and this is found in a couple of the various Gospels but Jesus makes a statement one he says that the Son of Man does not have a place to lay his head speaking to which he is not putting down roots here he is focused on what his mission and his purpose was while walking the the dirt pathways and gravel pathways of our world. We as his disciples, as his followers, must also be focused on what our commission is. Go therefore, teaching all people, right? Making disciples, baptizing them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We, we know this is our purpose, to gather harvest. We also understand that Jesus in those same accounts makes this statement where he says the fields are white unto harvest but the laborers are few. We want to as a church, as a local assembly, as the local representation of the body of Christ, we want, we must be making preparation for harvest. And so this Friday night, we have Brother Terry Schock coming in. He will be here with us for the weekend. Um, but on Friday night at 7 p.m., I'm challenging each and every one of us to carve out this hour of time from 7 o'clock to 8 o'clock to come and gather here at the church in preparation for harvest. We are intentionally scheduling speakers, and we will have this type of uh, training moment once a month on a Friday night at 7 o'clock and you should have received my letter yesterday giving those dates. I would, I would challenge us to come and be prepared for what it is that God has released to us. You know the farmer never waits until spring planting season to prepare for planting. He never waits until the fall to plant his crop. No, he makes preparation all throughout the year so that when harvest time comes, not only has he done the things necessary to have harvest, but he's done the things necessary to both gather the harvest and to retain the harvest. This is what we will be focused on in these Friday night trainings. So I would challenge you, come again, you're welcome to come and learn practical training things that we will need to be prepared to gather a harvest for the kingdom of God. The other thing that I want to make you aware of, and just as a simple reminder, is this Sunday night at 5 p.m. we will begin our Leaders in Training uh, moments. And this Sunday night, it will only be approximately one hour again, uh, and we will cast the vision here for what will be happening. We're going to talk about the commitment level that 
will most certainly be required as we go forward. But this again will be a once a month uh, training moment. Those training moments in the future will be three hours in length and we would challenge anyone who would feel the call, would feel a burden, would maybe just have an interest in becoming more engaged in what it is that God might have in your life. Whether it's to serve in a local ministry here at the church, whether it's to become better equipped to serve our community. I, I want us all to understand that not all ministry happens right here within the context of what we do at Parkway Apostolic Church. But our ministry is what happens everywhere we go, everywhere we are dispersed. And so again, Sunday night, five o'clock, come be prepared to receive some uh, information on what this Leaders in Training moment will look like going forward. And I hope to see you both there and also on Friday night at 7 p.m. So we love you, God bless you. Let's be engaged with reaping a harvest. We know the Lord's heart's cry is, there's so many to reach, but it seems that there are so few labors. I wanna be counted among the number of those labors who have responded to the Lord saying, here am I, send me. And I know that is also your desire. God bless you, and we look forward to seeing you on Friday night.